Well, welcome back to Who the Fuck, the show that aims to take a deep dive in some of the acts performing across festival season in 2022. In today's episode, we're tackling one of the artists that I'm actually most excited for to play this year. And I think if you would have asked me this a couple of years ago, I'm not sure I would have agreed. Today, we're looking at Willow, better known as Willow Smith, who's just blown up. She's part of the kind of Travis Barker Illuminati now. But it's just some amazing records. So without further ado, if you've never heard of her before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, who the fuck is Willow? Willow Smith, the daughter of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, brother of Jaden Smith, is from Los Angeles, California. Genre-wise described as R&B, rock, pop punk, indie pop, uh, like a whole range. It's really hard to try and, and compare her to other artists. I think like vocal inspirations from like Alanis Morissette, maybe like the ethereal part of Florence and the Machine, but certainly like way more down a Paramore, Avril Lavigne, Blink-182 kind of thing. Willow's journey into music starts in 2010 with her breakout single, I whip my hair. A record that's gone silver in the UK, gold in Canada, and platinum in the US and Australia. The record was famously parodied by Jimmy Fallon, pretending to be Neil Young, and Bruce Springsteen, who was impersonating a much younger version of Bruce Springsteen. I whip my hair back and forth. Whip my hair back and forth. Very meta, God, that record was so like 2010, and I'm just I'm glad that phase is over. She continued to release a string of singles, including collaboration with Nicki Minaj in 2011 called Fireball. Fast forward to 2015, and Willow released the single Why Don't You Cry, a record that feels a lot closer to what we would come to expect from her in the future, something a more, a lot more like Licky Lee or Nicki and the Dove, even elements of Kate Bush. Why don't you cry? still holds on to the trends of the time, but she really starts to carve her in groove, which at 14 years old is something that she should be really proud of. It was the first single taken from her debut album, Ardificus. I'm awful here, sorry, dyslexia. Released in December 2016 to a rather weak review, scoring 51% on Metacritic. Most scathing review comes from Pitchfork, stating that in between bursts of inspiration, Ardificus is largely a record of growing pains. That joke's on Pitchfork, as alongside the release of that record, she put out the single, Wait a Minute. Since gone on to relieve 105 million views on YouTube and 703 million streams on Spotify. That's going to be a B by the end of the year. That's absolutely nuts. It's partly due to its TikTok success of 2021 after it was re remixed by, I'm quite sure who it was remixed by. Probably Austin Mill seems to remix everything. <laughs> In October 2017, she would follow up with her second studio album, the first, signed to her brother's Misfits label, a subsidiary of Rock Nation, Jay-Z's record label, which is a subsidiary of Universal Music Group. Apparently, the record was heavily inspired by Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos. It also reminds me of people like Ocean Alley, but with more Spanish guitar, especially on the album's standout single, Romance. Romance doesn't take it's a hoax to In July 2019, she released her third studio album, eponymously titled Willow, which has been seen as a as both psych folk and psych soul, as well as dream pop and dreamy R&B, which rings true on records like You Know, which features her brother Jaden. It also features live standouts, Overthinking It. Female Energy Part 2. The album was co-written by both Jaden and Tyler Cole, the latter which would become her boyfriend, and the two would collaborate on the project The Anxiety in 2020. It was at this point that I came across her work with the album's opening record, Hey You, a record that opts in for a more Dead Kennedys, Velvet Underground kind of feel, rather than ethereal psych folk. <laughs> The album also features the acclaimed Meet Me At Our Spot, which has gone gold in Canada, America and the UK, as well as platinum in New Zealand and Australia. Right 
Initially, it didn't chart, but similar to Wait a Minute, gained significant success after blowing up on TikTok. Kelsey Garcia of Pop Sugar believes the song is a sludgy alternative track with emo undertones that hits at the zeitgeist and is pretty inescapable on TikTok. Fast forward to April 2021, she surprisingly collaborates with the iconic Blink-182 drummer and hero producer Travis Barker, this time for the record Transparent Soul. Transparent Soul. This one taking a real pop punk focus, while still holding on to that kind of ethereal sounds of her third album. Next up, she releases the, the single Lipstick, keeping it super grungy. Before again working with Travis on the record Gaslight. Her fourth studio album, Lately I Feel Everything, was released on July 16th, 2021 to critical acclaim with a Metacritic score of 79. Reviews came in saying, It was a risky move switching from conscious R&B star to grungy punk bow, but Willow has knocked all doubts out of the park again. The album features the three previously mentioned singles, as well as live standouts, Don't Save Me. Save me. Come Home. Start this year, February 24th, 2022, she would collaborate with Machine Gun Kelly on the record Emo Girl. She puts the eyeliner on her dark skin. She tells me lies, but she knows all of my secrets. Taken from his most recent venture, clearly has to be part of the hookup from Travis. We all know my opinion on MGK. You're welcome to check out my WTF episode. On April 1st, she released the record Purge, a mega heavy trap metal record featuring Sick Brain, which gives me super ghost main vibes. <laughs> In late April, she collaborated with the rising Pink Panthers, leading a very distinctive vocal input on the brilliant Where Are You? In May, she collaborated with Youngblood, again, another Travis hookup, and again, we all know my opinion on Youngblood, this time on the record Memories, taken from his eponymously titled third album. When my heart breaks just a little bit, I want to drop dead, I want to concede, a cool and in June, she released her second single taken from what can only be assumed to be her next album, Maybe It's My Fault, which has this real great blend of Linkin Park, like early new metal, but also has like the indie post-punk tones of Block Party. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. A like and a sub does everything for this channel. This is all about music discovery. We're covering artists that you don't know and some that you do. So hit the subscribe button, drop me a like. I think she's f***ing great. I've always been a fan of Jaden. I think he's a really cool artist and a lot of people won't because... A lot of people won't like them because both of them are Will Smith's children. There's always this talk of industry plants and people being forced into it. The fact of the matter is with Willow is that she's four albums deep. She's done the hard work. She's made her own music. It hasn't popped off in the same way and now she's making something that feels true to her and i love it like i think it's great she also has a fucking killer voice so i'm all for willow i think she's absolutely brilliant uh, i'll probably go check her set out i won't lie i think i can't believe i'm saying it but i will go and watch willow smith at reading festival i'm not sure if i would have said that in 2010 when you had london 2010 the strokes pulp metallica i'm gonna say yeah i'm not sure i would have done that then but hey hey amazing i think she's fucking brilliant what do you reckon of willow let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always and i will see you in the next one cheers bye